Hi everybody, my name is Lars Gustafsson, I'm the multiplayer lead designer for Battlefield 3. It's great to be here talking to you today. I've been making Battlefield games since the very first tar, uh, start. It's over 12 and a half years ago that we did that first prototype, uh, which makes it even cooler to sit here and talk about Battlefield 3 today. We've gone through a lot, you know, making Battlefield 1942. We really, I think we surprised the market with uh, delivering really a new angle on what shooters are. I was here nine years ago talking about it in Australia, so it's kind of extremely cool to be back now nine years later to talk about Battlefield 3, our latest and greatest Battlefield. When we started building this game, uh, of course we had a lot of heritage from Battlefield 2, who's probably one of our most popular titles so far. Uh, so there was a lot of pressure to do it right. In order to do this and to be able to deliver what all of you gamers out there want, uh, on, I mean, consoles are getting older and we want to start, yeah, continue kind of pushing the boundaries. So we created a new engine at DICE called Frostbite 2. With the Frostbite 2 engine, we wanted to, to get kind of a software or a technology upper hand on competitors. So we chose five areas where we wanted to be the best in class. First off, we have rendering. It's something that we're extremely happy with. Um, we worked hard for those of you seeing imagery for, from the game. I hope that you agree that it looks great and a media being kind of unified in praising both PC and consoles. So I think we've, we've accomplished that one. Second off is animation. When we shipped Bad Company 2, we, we really saw that areas of improvements were, one of them was definitely animations. It was it, it was sticking out, so it was kind of bugging us. We started looking around in the industry to see what, what animation systems are there, what's best in class. And we we're happy to find it within the family, within the EA family at EA Sports. You know, if you played FIFA 12, the latest one, and seen the animation, it's just beautiful. And we talked to the guys, and they were kind enough to let us use their, their animation system. So it's now implemented in Frostbite 2. And if you've seen the movies, I think you can agree that we, and it's not even bragging, we have the best animations in any shooter out there. Next one on the list is distraction. Tactical distraction is probably, uh, or it's become a hallmark for the Battlefield franchise and it's what really sets us apart from the competition. This time around, we keep on pushing it so that you get more and more. So this time around, you can go downtown into urban environments and do everything, you know, start chipping away covers where, where enemies are hiding or, or take your RPG and shoot down a facade over a hiding sniper. So it really, really, it's not only the fact that it's fun and good looking, it really changes how you play the game. So quite unique. Then off we have sound. Sound design is... To be honest, sometimes we can feel that uh, games oversee sound design a bit uh, and the power of it. For us, sound design probably makes up for half of the immersive ex experience when you play a game. I mean, uh, unplug your headphones or, or turn off your speakers and you have a lesser experience. So with Bad Company 2, we really managed to push it to get uh, what people claim the best not only in the shooter but in the whole industry and we're not resting there we want to keep that head start uh, so expect nothing but the best and then the last but definitely not the least is scale scale is probably the most known feature in battlefield you know those huge landscapes with jets helicopters you name it uh, all of that of course, we have this time around Power of Frostbite 2, but now we also have the urban environment, so it's really a little of everything. So we have the upper hand with our engine. This time around, we're coming out with single player, a two-player two, -player, two -player online campaign uh, for co-op. Uh, it's a unique one, really cool, and multiplayer best in class. All of this neatly tied together with the battle log, our new social hub. So. I think we're set up for an extremely good gaming experience. I mean, I haven't even started talking about the new cool features. So, yeah, I'm excited. I hope you are. This is going to be a great game. Coming out the 27th on October. So I really hope to see you all on the battlefield.